Hi, welcome to another Photoshop beginner tutorial. I'm Photo Junkie from PhotoshopBus.co.uk, and today we're going to be talking about text. And first of all, I'm going to show you how to install text. So you download it from a site, and it comes as a zip file. So I'm going to extract it, and there's the font. We can get rid of the zip file, and from that we right-click and we choose to install that's going to install it and then next time you start Photoshop because you'll have to close it and restart it it will be there but for this tutorial we're going to use Arial so let's go through the different options we've got and what I'm doing is I'm clicking and holding or you can right click we've got a horizontal type tool a vertical type tool and then we've got horizontal and vertical type mask tools I'll go through each of them right let's choose the horizontal type tool if we click drag and drag out a box and let's turn caps lock on um, we get our options up here I've chosen Arial this is where all our texts live chosen bold 80 point you can choose sharp crisp strong you don't always get all of these options with the different fonts it all depends on the font that you choose um, you get to choose the color here so let's type let's start typing so text now as I say we've created a bounding box if I go too far then it's not going to let me go any further and if I tick the arrow or enter on a numerical keypad I'll be just left with that that's not what we want so let's just click and type text while it's um, before we um, say yes to it by hitting a tick or by hitting the enter a numerical keypad we can hold down control and grab the corners and scale it and we can then say enter a numerical keypad we can also press control T free transform it we can double click on it and let's say we want it at 72 point like that and also we can scroll through and what I've done is I just clicked in the area where the text name is and scroll through until we see something that we like let's stick to Arial the other thing we could do double click on it choose a color we can change it to red you see it's red there we're going to stick with black okay so the vertical type tool works the same except it's vertical obviously there you go let's get rid of M2 now and let's go on to the mask tools horizontal type mask tool I won't bother showing you the vertical type mask tool because it does exactly the same as the horizontal but it does it vertical so let's take this up to let's say 100 pixels and press enter we want area we're going to choose bold we we'll use black because it doesn't really matter and we're going to type text now notice it's pink that's because it's typing it as a mask so when we hit the tick or the enter on a numerical keypad we don't get the word we get the um, actual um, marching ants we get the selection so if we create a new layer and on that if we get a selection tool we can right click and we can do transform selection and maybe we want to make this bigger click enter and why would we want to do that well maybe we want to get a gradient I've got this gradient here which is just multicolored and then making sure we're on that new layer we can run that gradient through it and it will affect just that selection now um, that's all I think if we go to edit preferences and we go to type we, we've got some options there we've also got um, yep down here under interface 
we can have the UI language, I've got it English of course, and we can have the UI font size, large, medium, small, I keep it on large, the difference being if we choose small then these um, samples will be smaller or will be medium or will be large. I think before this we had an extra large and they could be much larger but they took a lot longer to load when you press the text tool so it's probably better this way. So 